Hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In today's episode, I'm here with Ari Urban. She's joining me all the way from Miami. And today we're going to talk about music as a vehicle for self-healing. It's a great conversation that you do not want to miss. Well, hi, Ari. How are you today? Hi, Sergio. I'm doing really well. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here all the way from beautiful and amazing Miami. Maybe we can switch places. You can go to Skywalk <laughs> to Miami. <laughs> but uh, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> excellent. But you're not a strange to Chicago either because you actually live here in Chicago for many years, and that's actually where we first met in Chicago. And you are a musician, a very accomplished musician, violinist. You're gonna tell us a little bit more about that as well. And uh, it's great to have a, a chat here with you because also, kind of as a context of our conversation, you and I, in the middle of the pandemic, we did a uh, live art music performance you in miami here in chicago i made art you made beautiful music and we did, did this kind of like synchronization experience right uh remotely and it was amazing i have to tell you that you know it was one of the most beautiful experiences i have done as an artist collaborating with somebody else so uh, that was really cool i agree it was really cool <laughs> <laughs> And so, Ari, now that we have that and that's kind of passed, uh, you know, a lot of things have happened, you know, since then, of course, we have all experienced uh, pand the pandemic in different ways and forms, the social unrest and all the things that continue to, to evolve in the world today. And something that I love about what you do is you are a musician um, who also Uh, is using your talent and your vision for what it can do for humanity. It's not something that just for yourself and for entertainment of others, but it's really what it can do for the human spirit, right? The self-healing that we can all experience, particularly now in what's happening in the world. So that's kind of going to be the center of our conversation. But before we get there, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself for our friends who do not know you and the music that you uh, that you do. Sure, thank you for that great intro. Um, so my name is Ari Urban. I am a Miami native. I've been playing the violin for over 20 years, so I'm professionally um, classically trained on the violin. And it was actually through a period of years of having uh, really intense performance anxiety that led me into mindfulness and meditation and, um, and self-healing practices. So. So it's been about five years that I've been combining my passions for, for meditation and music. And now I'm at a new chapter where I'm, I'm really advocating. Um, it's my passion to advocate for self-healing through the power of music and, and sound healing and the power of vibration in general. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, as you kind of began to be interested into, into kind of both realms, was there a specific moment in which you, you said, well, I think this will make sense for me to kind of uh, find a way to integrate both of them in a tangible way for people to be part of that. Absolutely. There was one really powerful moment. I was in the Civic Orchestra of Chicago, which is a training orchestra under the Chicago Symphony. Mm -hmm. And the, the students, we were watching uh, Yo-Yo Ma have a conversation with Theaster Gates, who's an incredible yes, Chicago. Mm -hmm. So it was during their conversation. This was in 2015. And I remember the moment there was, luckily there's a picture that captured the moment when, <laughs> and I'm getting chills because it was, I, I got so emotional. It, they were talking about social justice and our roles of, as artists in our community. Um, and and that that moment, it clicked that I wanted to combine the two. And so mm. I went up to Yo-Yo and told him my idea and I got to have a meeting with him. And he inspired me to, to think really, really big um, mm -hmm. about, about combining mindfulness to help. At the time, it was just to help my colleagues with auditions. So mm -hmm. so at that time, it was just to help regulate our nervous system um, yeah. before going on stage. But that was really the catalyst. And so that was five years ago. Yeah. It is pretty incredible, right? How, you know, sometimes a conversation, a moment in time can really totally change our trajectory as creatives, as artists, you know, something that, something that somebody said or a moment or an idea, you know, it just kind of, catapults you in a whole different direction and so as you have been working with these ideas and and kind of molding men into place then the pandemic hit right <laughs> so how that also has affected you as an artist and particularly as a musician too because you know uh, with all the restrictions of not having you know be able to do concerts and things like that you know how has that affect you personally as an artist 
And then also, how has that also maybe open up new opportunities for you to continue working with the music as a self healing So I guess two questions into one. Absolutely. I, as, as all artists know, it's, it's, it's been a roller coaster, right? <laughs> um, I think the first couple months I was really feeling this pressure to like go online and really, you know, really be consistent. And overall the pandemic has really um, invited a new level of, of gentleness with myself in, in finding, in rolling with, with the ebbs and flows of life. So, mm -hmm. so at first, I think, obviously, because all my um, live performances were canceled, right. you know, it, it was this internal pressure of how do I go online? And now, of course, I see it as a blessing because it's pushed me to do more of my solo work that maybe I wouldn't have had time for. So it's really pushed me to put, um, and you've actually been a huge inspiration for that as well, just as far as consistent um, consistent output, you know, mm -hmm. on social media and on various channels. And so I'm learning to um, utilize social media in a new way. I've never been a huge fan on a personal level of it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really empowering to use it now to connect with other people that I can make music with around the world. And so right. that is starting to happen. So that's, that's been really cool. Very cool. So, and I love kind of like where it's going. So, tell me about some of those uh, maybe collaborations that you have done during this time, um, because you know, of course, we did the one that we mentioned you and I together, but then also you uh, did one where I uh, attended virtually, uh, which uh, you know involved the the music and the sounds and the objects and the meditation. It was it was fabulous. And so, tell me about some of those uh, kind of uh, collaborations that have evolved because of this. Sure. Um... So I started with a project called Music Free My Heart with one of my colleagues who lives in Italy. She's a longtime meditator, healer. Um, and so we, we would hold these weekly sessions that were really about exploring our emotions, right? All of the overwhelming emotions that maybe we don't normally want to right. invite in. So, so we use that space. She would guide the listeners through a mindfulness exercise to really drop into their body to be in the present moment. And then each week we, we would pick a different theme of what, what we wanted to invoke in the, in the listeners. And then we talk about it and share it. And that was really cathartic. Um, I did another collaboration with Giacomo Baris, who's the um, artistic director and co-founder of the New Deco Ensemble, which is an amazing group I play with. Wow. Here mm -hmm. in um, and same thing, I would play um, supportive music while he led the audience. So. So the theme of all the collaborations have been, how do we turn the audience into an active participant, right? right? How, how can we create a uh, co-creation between the performer and the audience so that they feel like they're involved and that they're um, truly present, right? Mm -hmm. We've all been to concerts that are super long or whatever, mm -hmm. where our mind's all over the place. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to find a new way to engage the audience on a personal level. I think amidst, um, you know, this time of immense social unrest, it's mm -hmm. my belief that we can only heal on a collective level mm -hmm. once we are starting to heal on an individual level. And that's really my approach with my work during mm -hmm. this period. Well, that's amazing. And, you know, the event that I participated early on, which, uh, you know, you were uh, leading to, you know, it was really nice. And, and again, uh, as a participant, not as somebody just watching it on the side, but, you know, participating, you know, it really made a big difference. And, uh, you know, I think before COVID, we always saw kind of like technology as this thing that you just watch, but it's not really as participatory. But when you have no other option, right, now it became, how do we do it, right? And uh, I think that's that's great. And thank you for what you are doing and continue to to find new ways. So tell me also a little bit about, you know, now the kind of like your own project. So we talk about the collaborations and some of the, your own projects that you are doing with, again, using music as a vehicle for self healing. Yeah. So the most recent, um, I guess, series that I started is, is on my Instagram. So every Thursday I go live for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and, and before you continue, tell us where, what is that? So our friends who are watching right now, they can make sure they follow you. Yes. Uh, what's, what's your Instagram name? My Instagram name is Ari Urban Music. So Ari Urban Music. So Ari every Urban. every Thursday. Yeah. At. At uh, somewhere between ten thirty and eleven a.m. <laughs> okay, so somewhere in between. Is, yeah. uh, and are these live sessions? They are live. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, really cool. Excellent. Yeah. 
So, Sorry to interrupt, so go ahead. <laughs> no, it's okay. So that's something I've started and that's, um, so the music I do there is is a continuation of the music I'm recording on my own. So I'm, I'm learning how to self-produce my own music, which is a right. fun sound. Um, so I use, yeah, electric violin, acoustic violin, acoustic viola, um, and I'm starting to, to get new bowls as well and learning um, about how different sounds literally affect different parts of our bodies. So that's a big part of my work is teaching others how to utilize certain sound frequencies. So for example, 528 hertz is, a, um, is the frequency for our heart chakra. So let's say someone feels really, you know, if someone's experiencing deep grief or, mm -hmm. or feeling really down, they can actually, they can go on YouTube and type in 528 hertz and, and mm -hmm. find a, an hour long recording that can, I see it as just a gentle support, you know, in our mm -hmm. daily life and I use sound um, mm -hmm. on a daily basis to support myself as well. So that's one aspect. And then of course the music, um, we all know music is, is very emotional um, and mm -hmm. can evoke a lot of emotion. And I see that, I see healing through feeling. So mm -hmm. when we're feeling, when we acknowledge um, the difficult emotions that arise and honor them, mm -hmm. um, I find through my own experience that they tend to dissipate, they tend to, to right. settle. Right. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you, Ari, you know, for sure. And I just learned something new right now. So I'm going to go and YouTube it right after this. <laughs> so, Ari, how can our friends find you or find out more about, you know, your music? If you can, you already share your Instagram, if you can share again, maybe your website too. And how can they connect with you? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, so again, my Instagram is Ari Urban Music. You can find uh, more about me and my history at my website. Um, which is my full first name. So it's arianneurban.com, A-R-I-A-N-N-E, U-R-B-A-N.com. Um, you can contact me through my website or through Instagram if you have any questions or um, want to chat. Yeah. Very good. And the new album is coming up. It's in the, it's in the making, right? So that will be coming. Making. Yeah. Hopefully early 2021 is, is the goal. But Excellent. Well, well fingers crossed uh, <laughs> everywhere. So, well, Ari, thank you so much for joining us one more time. You know, it was, uh, this is a conversation that we had been going back and forth at having at some point. And I'm glad that actually we had it now because now, uh, you had more time to, you know, to kind of develop this new phase of what you're doing. And uh, it's really great that we can share it with our friends too. And I join you every Thursday on what you're doing live as well. And then I continue uh, checking and following all your amazing uh, music performance that at the end of the day uh, is going to help us all heal as human beings right from the inside out. So thank you so much, Ari. Thank you, Sergio. It's a pleasure. And to all our friends watching, please share this episode with our friends. Ari and I will be very excited if we see more shares in the post. So thanks so much. Uh, tell us your comments also as well. We'd love to hear from you. And have a great and awesome day. Bye, Ari. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.